Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Fran and this is Frantastic Pins. All right, friends, if you're new here, welcome. So happy you're here. On this channel, I love to talk about my favorite Disney pins and occasionally other Disney related things. If you're returning, welcome back. We are at the tail end of our Pin Mail Monday catch up and the beginning of the organizing pin series that coincidentally I end up doing every year around this time. So it's a great opportunity to just sit down and film it. Um, today's video is going to be a mix of that Pin Mail Monday pins you all haven't seen me go over yet. And then I'm also going to start organizing today and I'll explain why it's kind of like a tangled up video. It's because um, today's video is all of the Disney Employee Center Pixar stamps that I've been able to accumulate. I don't have them all. I think for me, I don't want to have multiple stamps for every film. So I have since like sold and traded a couple of stamps, but um, let me show you the bin right now. These are all the pins that I need to show you. And instead of sitting down here and going through every single one, and then later on filming another video of me going through every single one, putting them away into the frame or the book that I'm gonna put them in. I just decided I'm going to do that both in today's video. So you might see me talking to the camera in some clips of this video, or you might see some B-roll of me putting the pins away, or I might even be talking while I'm putting the pins away. We'll see how I decide to go about this, but hopefully you're done watching me in this shirt because I am done bulk recording. <laughs> so for the past maybe month, if you've been watching the videos, I've literally been in this same corner, but hopefully that matters little to you because you're here not for me and my outfits, <laughs> but for the pins. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into getting through the pins. All right, friends, here we are. You have a view from my bed, basically, because I feel like this is the most comfortable place to be organizing pins. Um, it's also the best place I could get the camera. Here are all the pins we're gonna go through today. And I did already bring out the frame. So these used to house our Marvel pins, but now I've since removed them because I think I want to do the Pixar ones in here. So I brought that out. If I am not exhausted by the end of this video, I do have two more Pixar marquees. So I brought this one out as well. The other thing that I have out are these two boxes, which is my new backer card organization. So Ideally, I, I will be keeping these pins forever, but in a very rare case in which I would maybe trade some of them away, I do keep a bunch of the backer cards. So what I did basically was take these little tab index cards and then I wrote um, the name of the collection and then I have all the backer cards uh, behind that tab. So same thing here. So I try to do it in alphabetical order. I don't think there's a color coordination other than I just ran out of the blue colors. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I tried to like make them match with like the pin book that they're in. So today I don't think I'm gonna need box number one because um, these are all Pixar pins, but I wanted to show you where we're at with that. So here we have Pixar DSSH, Pixar Coco, Pixar Toy Story, Pixar Up, Pixar Miscellaneous. So these backer cards are gonna go under Pixar. So I'm gonna do that first. So I'm gonna time hop through taking all of these pins off their backer cards so that way we can focus on organizing. Because I haven't posted a video in a long time, I did want to hype up this product again. This is the 
um, pin picker or pin popper from GoPin Pro and you'll see me using it uh, but basically it helps you take out all the Mickey backs without having to like use your nails. All right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into the time lapse. All right y'all so when I tell you that the pin popper is game changer I really mean it like this is the best five dollars I've ever spent on the hobby because although this process took long as is it could have taken longer if I had to pick off every pin back myself and I just got like a fresh manicure so of course I did not want to ruin my nails so thank you to go pin pro for making the pin popper let's go on with organizing oh my lord you guys that I mean you watched it play out really fast but that took a lot longer than I wanted to Hopefully I just like talked over, but here are all the backer cards. I decided to put them into their individual sleeves because um, I just feel like it's easier that way and the cards are a little bit more protected. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, I used to put like little post-it notes on every backer card to say like which one it's for. Like for this one, look, it says Joe and Joe plus cat for like a soul pin but I think um I'm not gonna do it for these just because they're all the same pins the backer card is pretty standard and um I will I will always have this video to look back on if I needed to find the backer cards for this series so I'm gonna go ahead and just put them under my Pixar DSSH general wait this is not DSSH general so Pixar miscellaneous. I might need to do a new tab just for these ones, which would actually be super helpful. But anyways, um, I did take half the stack and kind of just switch them up because um, it'll help distribute the thickness of the backer cards, I think. Uh, there is a little box here under Robin Hood, so let me just put that in the middle. Okay, so now the backer cards are organized and I'm gonna move this box um, over to the side. And if um, you're curious, I just got this box on Amazon. Um, it's like a very, very thick cardboard and then I had to like assemble it by like putting these buttons together. Um, I probably would have chosen a better box system, but it works for now. Hopefully, um, if I ever need to expand, I can just buy another one and then put a label as it's like box number three. So those are the backer cards. Bye bye backer cards. <laughs> Talking like my toddler. Okay. And now we're going to get the pins in frame, literally. So I do have a separate like huge Ziploc bag filled with Mickey bags. So I'm going to transfer that later off screen, just so you all are aware of how we store that. And now we have the stamps. So I am obviously gonna wanna do this um, in order of release year. And I don't think I have one for every movie quite yet, or maybe I do. I'm gonna have to pull up like the Pixar um, movie releases to see I think I do have it here so obviously we're gonna start 1995 is the beginning so I'm gonna switch out um, a buzz there do I have a bug's life already I think that's one that we don't have yet oh no wait I do 1995 1998 1999 Toy Story 2 what was it right Toy story 2 2001 monsters inc i'm just gonna put them really close to each other and then we can figure out um how to put them down finding nemo 2003 and i had oh i do have darla i'm debating if i want multiple like i don't want all of the stamps but i want every film to be represented every film to be represented why did that my pronunciation sounded weird. What's after Finding Nemo? The Incredibles? No, this is 2018. This is the Incredibles 2. I think Edna. 
years ago, 2004. I guess I could just look at the years, but seven, wait, 2004 to 2007, there wasn't a Pixar film for three years. That's, that's incorrect. They haven't done any of the cars. Okay, wait, what? That's weird. Okay, so 2006, we'll probably have Lightning McQueen. 2007, Ratatouille. 2008, Wally. 2009, Up. 2010, Toy Story 3. 2011, Cars. Three. Wait, when did Cars 2 come? Oh no, Cars 2. And then Brave. And then Monsters University, like Randall. And then, and then we have Inside Out, for which of course I'm keeping these two. Did anything come out in 2019? Oh yeah, Toy Story 4. Oh, there's not one for Toy Story 4. I wonder if they'll do Bo Peep. I would love for them to do Bo, Bo Peep for Toy Story 4. And then we have Onward. And Soul. And then Luca. Lightyear. And then we need um, Inside Out 2. So there you go. So sorry to any friends who did not care for my external processing <laughs> the last couple of minutes putting all the pins in their chronological order but i realized that i was talking about a toy story 4 stamp not being created and that was a lie because they did come out with forky and i didn't keep forky because forky was not my favorite character so here is the final product <laughs> we've got space for cars one cars two good dinosaur Cars 3, Toy Story 4, Turning Red, and Inside Out 2. And that should be up to date for now. Entire row down here. I know May May is out, but I had to give that one. Not I, I didn't have to. My pin plug kept that one for himself because that's his favorite Pixar film. Um, so I just I don't think any of the cards have released. And I'm hoping they come out with Bo Peep for Toy Story 4 and Anxiety. Actually, I would love nostalgia, to be honest with you, so. And there you have it, my friends. Um, hopefully you stuck through this entire video and my thought process in organizing all my pins. In the next couple of weeks, we'll have more organizing pin videos to put away all of the other pins that I shared with you the last couple of weeks. So if you're into organizing pin videos, feel free to stick around. Like this video if you enjoy this content. Subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my gosh, and let me know which pin in today's many, many pins was your favorite. I honestly can't even tell you which one is my favorite because I love all of them because it's Pixar and I love Pixar. So looking forward to hearing from you all in the comments down below. I'll see you at the next video, my friends. Until then, have a fantastic day.